If you're looking for a quick and easy tutorial to get you started on Instagram Reels, you come to the right place. We're going to show you how to get started and you'll be on your way in no time. To begin, tap the Reels icon at the bottom of your Instagram homepage. That's the square with the play arrow right in the center. When you click that, you'll end up on your Reels feed. This is where you watch your Reels, like, share, and comment. To get to your page to record, you'll click the camera icon at the top right of your screen. Once you get to this screen, you'll notice icons on the left hand side. This is your toolbar. The first icon is the audio tool. You click on that and you can scroll through all of the featured sounds here to use with your video or you can search the music for one that you have in mind. Please remember though that if you have a business account, it might look a little bit different than the audios you can use if you have a personal account. If you wanna check out a song before you decide to use it, you can just click this little play button here on the right hand side and it'll give you a little snippet of the song. Once you're decided on a song, you'll click on the audio and it'll automatically place it over your video. Here, sometimes you can use a slider at the bottom to choose a specific point in the song to use, or you can just leave the suggested section, which is here. Click Done. Once you're done here, the next option below that is the Filters option. Here it lays out in a grid format so that you can easily search through what you want to use. You can also search through your saved filters, the trending filters, the trending reel filters, and appearance filters. Then you can click the video and it comes right back to your recording screen. For now, we'll take that off. The next option below that is the speed option. You'll use this to make your video play faster or slower on playback, and you can see that there are six options where the slowest being one third and the fastest being four X. The next option below that is the layout option. This allows you to add multiple videos or even still photos to the same reel sequence. You have a six grid option to choose from, or you can just get really super creative with what you record here. You'll click below the selected layout button and you'll see that your six options pop up here and they'll all just be different layouts for you to choose from. From there below that you see the timer tool. When you get here you can use this slider to break your recording into segments or you can select the entire duration of the slider to record your whole video in one shot. Once you've selected how long you want your video to record, you press record and you'll get a three second countdown before the recording begins and it will automatically stop at your selected duration. And there's your countdown. Below that option is the dual tool. That's the tool that looks like a camera with a plus sign in the middle. What that does is it allows you to record from your front facing and your rear ca facing camera at the same time, which gives your audience a unique point of view. The last option below that is called the align tool. When you use this, you'll see a still from any previous clip that you have taken before overlaid on top of your current record screen. This is to help line up your subject matter so that your transitions are smoother. Here's what that looks like in action. As you can see, You'll see a transparent, almost ghost image on the top over the current playing screen in the back. That way you can line up however you need to. Once you're done, you'll click the next arrow and it'll show you a small snippet of the video that you're going to share. From here, you can also add text, stickers, doodles, extra filters, or anything else that you need to that you would normally use in any other story or post. Once you're done editing here, you'll click the next button and it'll take you to the posting screen. From here, you can add your captions, hashtags, and tags for any people or companies that you may need to tag. You'll tap the image here where it says edit cover and choose a dynamic attention grabbing still frame to use. Or you can upload your own from your camera roll if you click on the option to do so. And from here, you can either click 
on or off to toggle to your feed. If you want to post it on your feed or not, it is a lot more helpful if you do. You can add your location tags, fundraisers, any of the other options that you would with a normal post. And once you're ready to do so, you'll share it. And that's it. That's how you get into doing reels and you're definitely on your way doing so. If you need help, always reach out to us. We can help you get started.